Hi everyone. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. And yeah, I'm here for another video, obviously. Um, well, alright, first off, um, this has nothing to do with what I want to talk about today, but I know a lot of you were all like, I loved your outfit video, but, um, can you, um, like, have it in better quality and stuff? And again, I'm sorry, um, I told you guys this camera I'm using right now especially is not the best quality, but, um, I'm really gonna try for the next one to maybe use my phone, I guess, or something. Actually, even just my camera, but it's just, it's so big, it would be kind of difficult. I'd have to have someone, like, film me. Um, but yeah, so, I'll, I'll, I'll do one of those things or whatever next time, uh, to make a better quality outfit video. So yeah, alright, there's that. Um, <clears throat> okay, so... The topic I want to talk about today, because I got, like, really inspired and stuff, and I know a lot of people have to deal with this, especially girls. Um, self-confidence. It, like, <sighs> there's so much I could say about this, but, um, like, it really kills me when, um, people can't see how beautiful they are, uh, and they continue to degrade themselves because they've always been treated like shit um, and they can't even accept a sincere compliment from people because society has like fucked um, with their minds and made them believe that they're not worth anything which is so not true like I mean I'm, I'm even a victim for instance I I'm still not getting used to being complimented even though yes I do more than I used to. When I was growing up, I got picked on, I got bullied, I got teased. I got called ugly all the time. People were always making fun of me. Like, I know you probably can't see in this camera, but I have freckles all over my face. And before I even wore makeup, I mean, this was like elementary school, I would always get teased for my freckles, you know freckle face or something, I don't know. I, I would hate myself, I would always be, you know, I would compare myself to others, I and I still to this day, I compare myself to other people, like other girls who I think are like super gorgeous or even models, which I know is ridiculous because yeah, they're a model, but it's completely normal and honestly, a lot of girls do it and probably will continue to do it, but I'm at least a bit better about it. Um, like, I'm learning to embrace myself, and I have to admit, I, ha I have definitely done a better job about it, but yes, it's still hard. Like, obviously, it's still going to be hard. It doesn't just change overnight, you know? Um, I'm a very stubborn person, too, so whenever I get, you know, complimented by people, I'm always just, it's like, I make it so awkward, I just, I feel weird saying thank you, or I just, I don't really know what to say, so I'm kind of like, eh, you know, just kind of still silent, and I don't want to seem like, you know, oh, she just, you know, I just complimented her, and she blah blah blah, you know, was being a bitch about it. no, it's not that at all, I'm, it's still weird to me, it really is, honestly, until high school, or at least... I don't know, maybe s going into 8th grade is when everything started to change and like all of a sudden people are like, oh you're so pretty and I'm just like, what? I mean, and I always have this habit too of saying, oh I'm sure you know someone better or you know you've seen better and you know there's a better looking person out there and they're like, yeah well, blah blah blah, you know, so what if there is, you're still up there and I'm just like, I don't see it and you know, as cliche as it sounds, when we look at ourselves in the mirror is just, it's completely different to how someone else in another body looks at us. We're used to seeing each other every day, because, well, we are who we are, you know, and obviously we see everything that we think is wrong with us, when in reality it's probably just a figment of your imagination, and it probably isn't that bad, but to other people, it's just... 
I don't know. I'm. It's still hard. I'm still going through this process, and um, it's probably gonna take ta take a while. You know, like on my Tumblr secrets video, I said that um, that I have low self esteem and stuff. And I mean, I don't have the highest self esteem, but I'm trying to work on it. Um, but everyone's all like. Oh, how can you not have any self-esteem, you know, like, you're so pretty, and blah, 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 and I'm like, the way I see myself is just obviously completely different to how others perceive me, because I just nitpick everything on myself, which, again, doesn't help. It only brings you down, and it it's not attractive, and I know it's not attractive, and I'm sure every guy finds it unattractive whenever I, you know don't show any confidence. I'm confident in like different ways. For instance, in my school, even though now I'm going to be a senior, um, the upperclassmen would intimidate the fuck out of me. Like, I, I don't even know. Basically, I'm kind of an easy target and, um, I'm kind of a doormat. And, alright, here, here's an example. The beginning of this past year, so before it was 2013, start of my junior year, um, this senior, who I have never talked to in my life, never even knew actually he existed until this thing happened, um, like, snapshotted a photo of mine on my Instagram, like, it wasn't a bad photo, it was just, like, a regular picture of me, uploaded it to Twitter saying, I don't know you, but I hate you. And some of the other upperclassmen, who, again, I don't even know, never talked to in my life. They don't know me. I don't know them. Like, I know who they are, but I never, again, have had an actual conversation with them. Favorited it and retweeted it. And my friend had to be the one to call me being like, did you hear about what happened on Twitter with you? And I'm just like, no. And, I mean, I cried. I'm not going to lie. I cried for a little bit. Because it's hurtful. You know, someone who just thinks like, doing that for fun, or just, you know, again, they don't even know you, but yet they still just do that. <sighs> I don't know, people have no lives, but to, you know, judge others, or pick on others, I don't know. Um, but basically, it hurt a lot. And also, even now, still sometimes, God, I'm like so ADHD with this, but I'm intimidated by my friend Rachel. She is, like, super gorgeous. And my friends always tell, like, my friends outside of school always tell me that because, you know, I always have pictures with her. And I'm just like, yep, I know she is. And I'm not going to deny it because it's true. Like, she's fucking beautiful. And um, she's also one in particular who feels like she always has to work on something on herself, like, to work out more and get skinny. And she's already super skinny. And I'm just like... Again, it just, it makes, and I sound like a hypocrite, cause it, but it just makes me upset when the people I care about don't see how beautiful they are. People would call me a hypocrite on that, because they would be like, oh, well, you don't see it either. Well, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's different. But, yeah, so basically, if you have low self-confidence, really just try to, Alright, if you're, like, in a room full of people you're intimidated by, don't show it. Just put on, like, a little, not, not like, obviously, don't be fake or anything, but just make it seem like, you know, you're not intimidated or that you're super confident. Like, just have this thing about you that makes it kind of stand out and, like, has people thinking, oh, wow, you know, that she's pretty... She seems content with herself or something like that. I don't know. It's really weird to explain. Because sometimes I can have that kind of presence in a room. And then others, other times I'll be like... Because I'm kind of shy at first. But once you get to know me, I'm very... Hi. You know, I'm, re I'm really weird. I'm goofy. I'm just... Yeah. So, yeah. Um, again, I, I don't want to drag this video out for too much longer. Because it's already almost ten minutes. Not everyone's probably going to watch all of it, but yeah. Uh, work on it, you guys. And um, if you have any other requests of what I should talk about, please let me know. My Instagram and uh, Tumblr will be in the box below. Bye.